we are in for several days of very hot temperatures, a lot of canceled 4th of July events, unfortunately, but the Iowa DNR says it's bracing for a busy weekend out on the rivers and lakes. And if you plan to drop a boat in, they say that there's a couple things you need to keep in mind to keep everyone safe. KWWL's Ashley Neighbor has the details. It is only Thursday and Lake McBride is already bustling with boats. The water is higher than normal right now and the only public boat ramp not underwater is McAfee right behind me. Nothing says 4th of July fun like getting out on a boat. But this year with high water at the popular Lake McBride, the Iowa DNR says people need to be extra cautious. A lot of debris, logs, sticks and stuff like that that are sometimes floating just below the surface and if you're pulling a skier, um, you need to be extra careful. We tagged along as the Iowa DNR conducted a boat safety stop. I got the whistle. Okay. Checking for life jackets, a fire extinguisher, personal flotation device, and a sounding device. We always are looking for safety violations or safety issues that we see on the water to stop somebody before something bad happens. With so many boat ramps underwater, McAfee will undoubtedly be busy, reminding drivers to be courteous to each other. Both boats are going five miles an hour or over, then it has to be, you have to be 50 feet apart, and then if there's one boat that's going less than five miles an hour and you're going more than five miles an hour, you have to be 100 feet apart. Of course, there's also the possibility swimmers may be in the area, which is why they say boaters need to pay extra attention to no wake zones. When you see buoys on a lake, um, it's a slow or no wake. So a no wake zone is under five miles an hour. This weekend, a national campaign, Operation Dry Water, means CNR officers will be on the lookout for drunk boat drivers. When you still get arrested, you still get taken to jail, just like you would if you're driving a car drunk. The DNR stresses to have a sober driver, especially with how many people are going to be in the lake this weekend. The legal limit is .08, same as operating a car. In Coralville, Ashley Neighbor, News 7, KWWL. Ashley, thanks for the update tonight as we head into the weekend. The DNR also warning that be cautious on the rivers if you plan to be on a kayak. Rivers are different than lakes because of the current, especially in those areas with strong currents and high waters. For example, they gave Palisades Kepler State Park as an example. Be careful out there.